but you know how like children like they don't maybe they they just want their mommy and daddy to be together you know what i mean so they're trying everything they can to stop this to block they're doing black magic on this love offer is coming in all right um they're trying to stop your finances because they don't want you to leave the nest you know what i mean they don't want you you know and look at the birds like the nest yeah that's what's happening here and if you don't have a child okay then it's like it's somebody else that's acting very fucking childish doing this to you and they're just jealous and envious it's somebody in your flight it's a flesh and blood though could be four people could be more a smile in your face zapping you in the back some king of pentacles it's a painful permanent ending or because they know that you are king of pentacles and it's a painful permanent ending to somebody's investments or whatever they were investing in because they're under judgment they have to walk away because in one million percent it's the sort of truth that's come out you're gonna get a download okay you need to meditate more meditate don't medicate just meditate uh struggle jennings i absolutely love him he's amazing my favorite song from him is um what do you call it all of his music's fucking i absolutely love struggle jennings all of his music's amazing uh god we need you now somebody's saying that now yeah for real for real <laughs> i love that song i love all of struggle jennings music same with jelly roll and of course yellow wolf absolutely fucking really love that man He's my number one skis. Someone's coming in to protect you. They're coming in fiercely. Yeah, they're an earth angel too. Somebody also um, lost their gifts or some shit like that for coming for an angel. Coming for you. This is your divine counterpart. Look, it's your yin yang. It's your yin to your yang. It's like your twin plane probably. See like little, they're coming in. They're coming in with a side level offer. They're coming in to protect you and they're coming to tell you about possibly your own fucking family, possibly your own kids attacking you your flesh and blood it's your kids or your sister your brother your your aunt your uncle somebody but somebody being very childish but i'm strongly picking up it's like a it's somebody younger than you if it's not your child it's a niece it's a nephew it's a cousin that's younger um that's working with other family members to do this they could have been lying to your divine counterpart about you because they don't want you if it is your child they don't want you and your they don't want like you know they, even if you you are not with their with their with their other you know their their mother or father anymore, they still have that hope that you will one day get back together or whatever. You know what I mean? That's what's happening here. So they they could have even lied to your divine counterpart okay, and said that like all this bad stuff about you because they didn't want you and they don't want you to be able to move on. That's why they're attacking your finances. So don't be upset with your child. It's still you know what I mean? It's it's like it's they don't understand and it's just you know what I mean? They don't you know how it is you know how like especially if you if you broke if you grew up in a broken home you know what i mean you know what i'm saying you know what it's like so don't be upset with your child just uh it's they'll realize they'll, they'll see when you're together that everything's going to be all right and it's just they don't want they don't they want their mommy and daddy to be together okay like it could be a, a younger child it could be a teenager it could be even like a young adult still maybe they still live at home with you possibly or shit maybe it's even older i don't know maybe they're maybe they're older it could even be like a, a you, you know your child could be even older and they just are afraid that if you get with this person that they're gonna be like no you need to kick them out they need, they need to be on their own you know what i mean it could be even be that or maybe they feel even if you don't live with them maybe you don't you might not even live with them they might even be just afraid that like when you come into union that that, that, that they're gonna like your divine counterpart's gonna be like yo no knock that shit off i mean like you need to you need to stop giving to them like because maybe you, you give out you extend too much or something like that you know, something like that, yeah. Ace of Pentacles. The AA is something about, all right, maybe you or your divine, maybe your, your child could be drinking or, or doing drugs or something. There's something here about healing. Maybe they're healing. Maybe they're coming. Maybe they're in recovery. Or maybe you are or something like that. Maybe they said that you were on drugs and lied about that. Maybe you used to in the past or somebody just lying and saying that you're an alcoholic or a drug addict when you're not. And to anybody that is in recovery, I am so fucking proud of you, okay? Um, it's absolutely amazing, you know. Um, we make this shit look easy, but it's really not. It's really not. And I commend you for that, okay? And you're doing amazing. Keep that shit up, right? 
Somebody's child's drinking. Or smoking weed or something. Or maybe, uh, hopefully not worse, but... Yeah, I'm strongly getting someone's child was like lying, saying that you, you're a horrible person, that they're, they're doing this so that you two want to get together. Because they don't want, you know, they either don't want, they feel like that you and, and, and the mother or the father, whatever the situation is, is going to be back together. Um, or maybe this is, could even be the other parent using the child against you. Okay, this could even be it too. And like trying to fill in your uh, your child's head with lies about you saying that you're a drug addict that you sell your body you do this you do that it's all fucking lies though and it's to turn them against you but the truth is going to come out about this all right you're getting this ace of pentacles though and you're getting a solid love offer coming in that your cup's going to be overflowing with love whatever this is it's like whatever you're working on it's going to bring you major abundance plus that inheritance we already had that's right that, that did come out um yeah what they sold from you and all the illusions they cast it, the devil's energy to steal, you know, they're obsessed with trying to stop this and block this, to steal this inheritance. It's a hidden inheritance, but what's done in the dark has come to light. All these, yeah, some here, it's very simple. You, your, your child might even be grouping together with their friends doing magic on you. There's a lot of childish energy here, a lot of pages. The pages are the children of the um of the of tarot. Yeah, you're protected. Your 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 finances are protected. He's someone's name could be Mike, Michael, Mikey, Mikhail. Ow. Michael is also a female's name too. It is German for um it's a female's name too. In Germany. In German, you know I mean? So yeah. Then we have the Page, the Page of Swords, the, the the Empress, and the Five of um, Cups. You're protected. They were being watched, trying to do this to you. How childish to be in somebody about being in a graveyard. I was getting that from the beginning. Somebody might have been in in the in the big in the, in the graveyard. They were, a cop could have pulled up or something like that. They were, could have been hiding. See how he's laying down here, like he's trying to hide from the police. They know the truth. They know you're their em their empress, or your divine counterpart is your empress. Put the rules where they fit, okay? Um, yeah. They know the truth now. You know. They're trying to attack your creativity, your fertility, as well as your, as long um, along with your secret with some secret knowledge, right? Somebody's attacking your heart chakra. You need to cut some cords. You need to. You need to cut some cords without doubt. Somebody's getting kicked out. A child might be getting kicked out. The fuck? Somebody could have got caught playing in a graveyard. Digging up some graveyard or trying maybe doing necromancy or something like that or, or trying to do some sort of ritual in a graveyard. A cops could have saw them and they could have tried to be hiding from the police. But the cops seen that shit. Or it's like, you know, even, um. Look at all these hearts in the hands, dude. They're definitely attacking your heart. Or you need to cut the cord to somebody that's very close, near and dear to you. Under they have some sort of attachment. The cords need to be cut. They need to be cut. There's no ifs or buts about it. You need to do it. You already know inside. You need to do it. It could be a very hard pill to swallow. It could be your own fucking child. It's somebody very close to your heart. You need to do it. They think they have you in the palm of their hands. This is why they're doing it. This is what's delaying you. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna feel like being stabbed in the heart in the back, you know what I mean? When you find out the truth, but you you know what I mean? Someone's name could be Ruby. Or Ruben. Or something about rubies. Could be very significant. 
somebody's definitely doing some sort of blood sacrifices or something like that. This shit's crazy, bro. There you go, someone's getting arrested. Someone's getting kicked out and arrested. You're getting its victory, success, public action, should possibly even fame. Happy, happy home, happy family. Your, 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 you know, the non-karmic family is protected. Your, your house, you're like, you're protected. Your family's protected, the non-karmic ones. Um, and you're getting good luck and fortune. Somebody sent you some sort of psychic, they, they're doing, they're doing some sort of psychic attacks on you. And they're scared to death now. They're up on night boohoo crying because they know this magic they sent out to you and to your heart space. There's something significant about hearts here. It's going back and it's your own blood. It's your own flesh and blood that's doing it to you. Cut the cords, man. You need to cut the fucking cords. It's a completion. It's the end of a cycle. You're getting this major blessing. Um, you're a generous blessing. You're going to be able to bless pockets of other people because you're going to learn to cut the cord and you're going to keep your sword up. You're going to do it. You have to. I'm telling you, you're going to have to. It might be a hard decision to do, but you have to. It could even be a father, okay? Or a grandfather. You know these, um, what are these called? The, um, the pocket watches. I got one, um, for my sister's dad. It could be your sister. Uh, my sister's dad, and it said dad on it, and I got one for my actual dad, too. But, like, I just seen, when I looked at it, the, um... I, I I visioned in my third eye the the um the watch that I get. it could be a step parent or a stepchild. Somebody's definitely playing in the graveyard, playing with necromancy, or doing rituals in the graveyard. They got caught though. The authorities seen them. Look, trying to hide and all. Or this is what's about to happen. Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron seen that shit, without a doubt, recorded everything that they fucking did. And Archangel Michael is right here protecting you. Mm -mm. But you're very creative, you're very fertile, you're all the queens embodied in one, whether you're masculine or feminine, okay? And your divine counterpart is too. And they knew the truth too. But just be mindful, okay? Um, somebody's attacking your creativity and your fertility and your finances. That's why you want to definitely uh, cleanse um, your sacral chakra. Cleanse your definitely your heart chakra, okay? You need to do cord cuttings without a doubt. To somebody you know inside, you know who this is. You know who it is. And it is unfortunately flesh and blood. And I'm strongly picking up on a child or... Um, Somebody could do something with period blood. The fuck? You're the high priestess. Someone's losing their gifts. Coming for you. Somebody this witch bitch. You know. Um. Because you are the true high priestess. You're an earth angel. You are the true high priestess. You're a true spiritual leader. Somebody now got the message too. Not to fuck with you. Because you are a true high priestess. And or a high priest. Put the role where, they, where it fits. You know what I mean? And some witch or warlock lost their gift. Or is losing either a gift or their gifts. It could be multiple gifts. It could be all their gifts for coming for you. Somebody could be Irish. Don't have to be. There's definitely something about graveyards here. It's something about a grave. And they're gonna get they either are caught or they're about to get caught in a grave do in the middle of doing a ritual to, on you. Literally, possibly by the authorities. <laughs> Confirmation. So you know damn right well if you get a police call and it is your child and they say that they're in a the graveyard, you know what it's hitting for. Do not bail them out. Let them learn their lesson. Look the chariot, what I say. You're also getting some sort of upgrades. You're rapidly progressing, okay? Because you're standing in your power. You're keeping your sword up.
Somebody's in grief, pain, sorrow, agony about your protection. I was looking at this as the fucking um, five of pentacles. This is the five of cups, duh. Yeah, they're, they're in grief, pain, sorrow, agony about you being the empress, about your divine counterpart knowing the truth and about your protection. They're, they're being really fucking childish. They're not sorry that they, that they did any of this. They're in grief, pain, sorrow, and agony because every time they attack you, you just get stronger. You get more upgrades. You just, you know, you're moving. You're moving. That's the first time I looked at this card and I'd seen this as somebody packing up and going. First time ever in this deck. This first time I ever seen that. I actually ever with a chariot. Um, usually that's like the, you know what I mean? Um, the moving card is the, the six of swords. But no, I'm seeing it as somebody coming in. An earth angel coming in to protect you. Coming in, taking you out. This could be like the authority figures possibly. Because authorities could be watching them. Their, their phones could be tapped. And it's the earth angel that's the authority figure too. That's also making sure that, you know what I mean? God has his earth angels in the, author in the, in the justice system. In the police force, you know, in the local cops. Also in like the feds, the CIA. You know, like the, the, the you know. The big guys, the big, the, the big dogs. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's house might be in right now. What the fuck? Yeah, but you're getting also with this because the the the, the cherry also talks about progress and like you know rapidly moving forward and stuff like that as well and it's underneath the temperance card so god has his earth angels in it in you know in the authority figures because the rest of these people okay also um you're rapidly progressing you're going to get some sort of like upgrades or something okay oh lord jesus What is going on here? Completion end of a cycle. That's a graveyard. Ultimate wish fulfillment. It's on its way. It's in transit. And whatever they thought they were going to get out of doing this ritual, this this ritual, what's great, whatever the fuck they're doing, they're not getting. This is on the, the fence. It's telling me it's in transit. It's on its way to you. And they're going to get a front row ticket to see it. And there ain't shit they're going to do about it. And whatever this this work this partnership is, whatever you're going to be working with, is going to be you're going to have the best possible outcome, um, and it's protected. Your ultimate wish fulfillment, your divine union, everything is um, all protected, heavily protected. And they're watching you, seeing that all their attacks they send to you, it doesn't work. You're still getting your ultimate wish fulfillment. They're butthurt about this, and they're not getting it because the completion is the end of a cycle. Maybe you need to cut some cords, okay, to complete this up. And they're in deep, they're in deep, they're um, up all night boohoo crying. And it's like the attacks they sent to you is going right back to sender, man. And they're getting bad karma for it. And you're getting good karma, and you're getting good luck, good fortune, you're manifesting your good luck, your good fortune, and it's protected. You're gonna have a happy home, happy family. Whatever they thought they're holding on to, or whoever thought they're gonna hold you back, no, the fuck out here is not happening. It's weird and it's not happening. They're not holding back no more either. Your divine counterparts are coming in. Whatever the magic they're doing to hold on to, what that inheritance or whatever this is, is not happening. They're not holding your your. So you need to cut the cords to somebody because they're holding. They were holding you back, but maybe you're going to, or you did, and you now because you did this, you know nobody's holding you back, and nobody's holding your divine counterpart back. Six of Swords, you're moving away. You're moving out of like rough waters into smooth sailing. Cut the cords. You need to. They're also being watched, trying to hold you back. Someone's gonna also tell you that who's seen this, who's seen this happening, that somebody that maybe was working once, working with them to do this, and then you know maybe they're like watching, maybe they're lying to 
to these other people, their friends or whoever, about you. But then after they're watching you, they're seeing that you're a very good person, you're earth angel, you're a very divine being, you're nothing what these people said you were. And now somebody, or it's the authority figures that's going to tell you what they were doing. Somebody's phones are tapped, and I'm strongly getting it might be your child's. Or your niece, your nephew, your cousins, or something like that. Or somebody that's just in this childish energy. Now your child could be like, you know, a grown adult too, you know what I mean? But they could also be like a teenager, they could be, I don't know, however old. Or it could even be like a step a stepchild or something. It's ending to them holding you back. They're doing death magic on you. And they're nervous about this. Death card to the Knight of, uh, the knight of Wands. You're... Yeah, I'm strongly getting your own child was doing death magic on you. Trying to hold you back. Trying to block and end your finances. To end this love offer. To, to, they're trying to end your creativity, your fertility. They're in grief, pain, sorrow, agony. Because you're, you being in grief, pain, sorrow, agony, it's, it's done with, okay? They're nervous about this death, this black magic, this death magic they were doing on you. They're not sorry about it either. Look, they're not sorry. You need to cut these cords. They are not sorry at all. And they're hella nervous. They're watching you. And they they realize, oh shit, you really are an earth angel. They're scared to death because they know you are protected. They're not. They're attacking your root chakra. Cleanse your root chakra. They're nervous about possibly going to jail. They are going. Someone's going to jail. They're nervous about getting kicked out. The five pentacles right here. Somebody can like Rick and Morty. I have my Rick and Morty socks on. They're nervous about your protection, about you putting your guard up to them. Somebody could have green eyes. Your, your good luck and fortune and you know, everything else is, is protected. And you are heavily protected from this. This is bad karma going back to them for the psychic attack they were sending you as well. Because it's a completion to end up a cycle because you're the one with the power, not them. They were getting away with a lot of shit because before, because they were in your energy, you need to cut those cords. They could have been spending a lot of money on this too. They could have been asking you for money. They could have been asking you for money to do work on you. How does that make sense? And if that's the case, do you have any idea what that bad, that how bad that karma is? I just looked over and seen the Three of Swords on my board over here. They're in deep emotional pain. About your protection and about this shit going right back to them. So if they're in a relationship, you're going to hear that they, that, um, they, they broke up with, they're having troubles in their relationships because they're attacking your relationship. They're attacking your love, like your love life. They're going to be losing jobs if they have a job. They're going to be losing, you know what I mean? Because you're too protected. Anything they attack on you, you're in your purpose. You're an earth angel. You're in your purpose. You're in the upright. So they're, they're attacking you, but it's, you know, um, Maybe, okay, one of you might be white, one might be black, all right? Maybe your divine counterpart's black, maybe one's white, maybe maybe you have a child that's, um, that's like, I don't know, racist or something, or they don't like that, or, or whatever this is. Maybe that's, maybe this is what the issue is with somebody, too, or there's something that here, white and black, there's like some in writing. Something that's in writing, that's what this is, okay? But that could be the case, too. Maybe somebody's mixed, maybe you're mixed, or your child's mixed. But no, now looking at this, that could be the case too, okay? Um, but I was going to say, maybe like, you know, they didn't want this to happen because maybe one of you is white, one's black. Or, or, or different, like, phrases. Maybe one's Chinese, one's black. One's Ch whatever the situation is. One's Spanish, one's whatever, you know what I mean. Um, maybe that's why they were doing this too. Or they could even they could have told your person that you are racist when you're not. You're an earth angel. You love everybody. And everybody, you know what I mean? So, but um, you're like, and this is another thing, look. You're with the white, your child or whoever this is, is with the devil. Like, they, they do low vibrational. You're, you're with God, you know. Um, 
the other person, whoever this is that's attacking you, is lower level. They're on the dark side, you're on the light side. But also there's somebody that maybe that maybe that don't maybe maybe it's your 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 kid or whoever this is put the roles where they fit or your niece your nephew your cousin your sister your brother whatever it's somebody like in in your family but they maybe they broke up okay maybe they broke up with their ex their ex could be the one that's writing something in or somebody else that don't that don't talk to them no more that they're watching and seeing that they're all lying on you that maybe possibly was doing work on you at one point but then they seen the truth and they they don't work with them no more and they they were trying um what do you call it they're 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 putting something in the statement maybe somebody got arrested and they're gonna write in white and black they're gonna have a written statement and testify against this person there's something in white and black like writing you know what i mean somebody's gonna testify against these people too and that's that's gonna get these people locked up and it's gonna protect you I don't even understand how race, like, racism is even a thing. Like, seriously, you fucking dumb. First of all, we all started off, like, you, we are all one, okay? Like, we started off as just, it was with Adam, and then Adam, it turned into Eve. Like, you know, he made Eve out of Adam. Someone's name could be Adam. You know what I mean? We are all from, like, you know what I mean? And it's 2024, you fucking retards. Like, how could you hate somebody because of their, I not like somebody because of the color of their skin or their nationality or whatever the situation is? Grow the fuck up. I don't know, I just seen like a rainbow out of the corner of my eye. Maybe, maybe you're gay, okay? Maybe it's the same sex and that's why they're doing this too, whatever. Like, who cares, dude? Like, why would you let people care about what other people, um, who other people love? As long as it's love, like, you know, let them be happy. Why are you so worried about what, what other, another person, you know what I mean? What another person, as long as they're loving each other, love, why? Why do you care? Stay in your own fucking lane and worry about yourself. Why are you attacking somebody else? Who gives a fuck? Like, let them be happy. You're just jealous because why? Because they can be themselves and you can't be yourself? Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. I'm strongly getting somebody could possibly have, you know, your... Your divine counterpart, your divine counterpart could be um, a different race, possibly, or something, and they don't like that, and they told, or even if they, if they're not racist, they, they went around saying that you're racist because they know that your, your um, divine counterpart is either is either opposite, like you know, a different um, race than you, or they maybe they have children that are mixed, and this way, like obviously, like yo, if you don't like, what do you mean? You know what I'm saying? Something like that could be happening. There's something here about racism. Or lies about racism. <laughs> That's so funny too. These idiots too. They just sit there that are racist and shit. Guarantee you do the DNA test. I guarantee you have some sort of whatever you're racist against in your fucking blood, idiot. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> go get it. Go to um, ancestries.com. Guaranteed you're going to find out that you have whatever race. And that's just going to be another little fuck you. Do, do you know what I mean? <laughs> idiots. Wait the fuck up. You're a hypocrite, too, because how the fuck could you hate somebody, a whole race, okay, for just because of the color of their skin or just because of their race? It don't even make sense to me. Same with people that say, oh, F the police, F the police. You sit down and shut up. You sound like an idiot. Do you realize how stupid you sound? How are you? That's one, it's racist. Two, how the fuck are you going to hate somebody that their job is to serve and protect? Now, calm down. Sit the fuck down. I understand when you're saying the, the, like the, the crooked ones. I'm not talking about them. Yeah, fuck them. Okay, they're crooked. Okay, but what I'm saying is somebody there, not all police are crooked. All right. Like their job is to serve and protect you. Now, if you're, if something happened to your fucking child and you want, you need it, like, you know, help, you'd be, you'd be quick to fucking call the police and want them to be on your side then, right? Yeah, keep that in mind, asshole. You sound like an idiot. Sit the fuck down. And shut the fuck up because you sound stupid as shit. And you're a hypocrite because if you needed them, they would be there. You would want them to be there, right? So think of that before because, you know, that will be your fucking karma too. Talking all that bullshit. And then when you really need them, they ain't going to be there for you. Because remember, fuck them, right? Yeah, keep that in mind. You sound like a moron every time you say it. You sound stupid as fuck. So stupid. 
Oh, yeah. And why? Because you're out here doing all this karmic ass shit and you don't want them to come catch you? That's why? Fuck out of here. Wake up. You sound stupid. Sounds so fucking stupid. Now, I'm not telling y'all go out snitching on people. Fuck no, I'm not saying that. What the fuck? But I'm saying, wake the fuck up. You sound stupid as hell. I mean, if somebody's getting hurt, a child's getting hurt, yeah, it's telling them motherfuckers, that ain't snitching. You know what I mean? That ain't snitching at all, by no means. That is not. And if anyone says it is, you're fucking disgusting. You got some serious issues wrong with you. If a child is being hurt, you better, you fucking better protect that child. I don't give a fuck. These people from your past are hella nervous. Because of their plans ain't coming through. Your plans are protected, okay? Whatever your, your vision, your, your planning, whatever you're planning, whatever you're working on, you're, it's putting you, it's, gonna, it's protected. You're going to have the best possible outcome. You don't even realize how prosperous it's going to be, okay? And it's protected. And these people from your past were being watched, trying to hold you back, trying to block you, trying to stop you. They were being watched. There's something about a graveyard, without a doubt. Somebody's getting caught up in the grave. In the graveyard. Now they might not. The cops could have saw them. They could have been hiding, right? They might not have got arrested right then and there. But it's a case. There could be. It could be under investigation. But the authorities are going to come forward and tell you about this. Maybe your child, or whoever this is, got away. But someone's going to get caught up, and they're going to tell on them. Something like that's going to happen. But yeah, somebody from your past might be even one that's coming in telling you. Somebody from your past that maybe was at once, a, you know, it's maybe somebody that you cut off, okay? Maybe they were they were attacking you because of what was the lies that were being told. And they realized, no, now they want to protect you and they wanted to because they knew the truth. They're going to tell you about somebody from your, either somebody from your past is going to tell you or the authorities are going to tell you or somebody's going to tell you that somebody from your past, possibly your own, your own family, trying to hold you back and whatever they stole, that inheritance that, that was in the shuffle. Yeah. And they're also getting to see that you get this <laughs> bash of new beginnings. Once you get this information, you're going to move on. Trust me, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> you're going to be out. You're going to be like not looking back. There's something here about greed. You're going to, mm-mm. New York could be significant with the Liberty Bell here. Somebody could be doing like going to New York. Or somebody could live, you could live in New York, something about New York. Philadelphia could be significant. Somebody could be in Philadelphia doing some graveyard magic shit. I don't fucking know. There's some secrets in New York though. New York. Make you feel brand new. This might inspire you. You inspire people. The light inspires people. Of course, you're going to be here, and the dark will be getting, you know, stomped the fuck out. And everything comes, that everything is done in the dark, you know. Um, 